I'm still on the Mercy Johnson's maternity saga. Before you leave a comment, understand the video. It is very important. With that being said, welcome back and thank you for joining me. If you are new here, hello, welcome. My name is Lillian and in this video, I'm still on Mercy Johnson's maternity saga. See people tell me, oh, eh, Mercy will sue you before you talk about people. Hey, please hold yourself, okay? She's not going to sue me. And even if she want to do it, she will have to give the court a reason for suing me. You don't just sue people because they have talked about you, especially when I have not, I have not dragged Messi, okay? I have always kept my point very simple and valid. And sometimes I have even spoken in her defense. So which it feels like, I'm not completely regretting, but I feel like, I have to be careful how I defend someone I think I know, but I'm not really sure right now. If you want all of this to stop, tell Mercy to please give us something to work with. Spoil our business as bloggers and vloggers by addressing this issue. Come out and tell us you don't know this woman. Come out and tell us you know this woman. Come out and control how people feel so they don't have to come to the public space to cry, especially helpless, old, and not financially buoyant women coming out to call your name every AK market day. And you expect some of us to keep quiet because we are afraid of mercy. Talk to mercy. I know someone knows Mercy Johnson. Mercy is not a god. She's human. Tell her to come out and put all this behind. Put an end to it. Tell her to come and spoil my business because the moment she addressed this issue, I won't have to talk about her again. There will be nothing. She has spoiled everything for me, which is good. I want it. Okay, let me give you guys a little background of what the Cameroonian woman have said. I wasn't sure what she was saying in that video. So I took time off to do my research. So let me tell us what the story is so that we will understand better. So in the case of the Ghanaian woman, she said that Mercy Johnson's father is her ex-husband who took her kids from Ghana to Liberia and then later went to Lagos, Nigeria and wrote to her that they had an accident and died. You get it? It's different from the Cameroonian woman's claim. So the Cameroonian woman um, side of the story is like this. She was living in Lagos, you get it, many years ago, but she wasn't precise the year. So many, many years ago, she was living in Lagos with her husband. Do you get that? So she got a cough from Cameroon that her father was very sick and she needed to be there and you know now some every is every uh, parents wish that before they passed on to glory they get a chance to see their children probably open up about things that they have not opened up to the children before they passed on so when they sent for her to come to Cameroon she hurriedly left she left her two children behind which is Mercy Johnson and her brother she left those two behind and went with the little baby to Cameroon. When she left that, she left the babies with her husband, okay? And then by the time she will return, because it took her a long time to come back, by the time she comes back, she heard that her husband was involved in a motor accident and um, the children, she couldn't find them. So, but that, the husband somebody close to the husband came for the kids because they were just alone stranded and nobody to look after them now the person waited and waited and waited and didn't hear from because it took her a while to come back it took her a long time to return to, or because it took her a long time to come back to nigeria from cameroon by the time she came back the husband she didn't know where the husband took the children to to get it so it was later later she just kept searching for them. She continued to search for them. She could not find them. So she went back to Cameroon because uh, she didn't know how to go about it. She went back to Cameroon. And then many years later, she saw Mercy Johnson in movies. And then she recognized Mercy and then decided to come to Nigeria 
to try to get closer to Mercy so that she will explain things to Mercy so that Mercy will understand what is going on to get it. Maybe Mercy does not know that they adopted her. So she strongly believes that the Mercy late parents, the naval officer uh, Daniel Johnson and Madame Elizabeth Johnson are not biological mother of, of Mercy and she's trying to let Mercy know just in case they didn't tell her. So gaining access to Mercy wasn't um, an easy thing to do. So she spoke to one of the actors in Nigeria by name Francis Duru. So Francis promised that he was going to talk to Mercy. She pleaded that they should come for a DNA. So the time for the DNA came. It was Mercy's husband that turned up and he never allowed his wife Mercy Johnson to come near the woman or something. So and then the husband told her to pay for the DNA. So because she could not afford she ended up not carrying out the DNA. And of course, we who? Because the husband even came without his wife, whom is the person we are talking about here, Mercy Johnson. So the woman was left stranded. And that she had been in Lagos, um, Nigeria, for the past six years. If we are going to be honest and look back, you will know that that time, Mercy's mother, Okay, I'm going to say Mercy Nigerian mother or Nigerian parents were still alive. Because I'm going to say that because as it stands now, nobody knows the truth. At six years ago, they, they definitely, both of them were alive. So having access to Mercy was difficult, but she had been around trying to do so. So we don't know. When pe some people are saying, why well, I'm explaining this part is because, of course, later I'm coming. Because we are all accusing her of not coming back on time to try to get her kids back. So why did she wait till when this man and woman passed away? They are supposed to be here to tell us the truth. Yes or no. Because Mercy may have been too young to understand, to remember anything uh, that really happened back then. So these two people would have been her perfect witness. It could have been very easy for Nigerians to say, Mama and Papa, tell us the truth. But in this case, these people are late. So she said she had been around for a long time trying to. She didn't want to come public. Of course, someone that loves you, someone that cares about your image because they are your mother. No matter how uh, they may not have been in your life, but they are your family and they wouldn't want to embarrass you publicly. This woman said she have tried to do things right, you know, try to reconcile privately and then she not she didn't succeed and then she didn't succeed then she had no other choice but to come publicly right now then what are we going to say so that is why we are all begging and pleading with mercy johnson okoje to please mm, tender justice with mercy this is our an old woman. I know it's not going to affect your bank account in any ways. Nigerians are still going to patronize your business because you are rich and influential. Nobody cares about what you have done. People just don't care. As long as you are doing fine, you are rich, you are rich and you are famous, everybody will applause for you. That is my country for you. But as a matter of fact, you have to Think about that. Just go back to your inner conscience. Okay. All you have to do now is go back to your inner conscience because Nigerians are not ready to do anything to help the woman, especially coupled with the fact that she is not a Nigerian. So it means that once you come out and admit that, yes, this woman is your mother, it means you're automatically no longer Nigerian. Yes, we will miss you, but you are still going to be here because now you are married to a Nigerian and you grew up in Nigeria. So you remain a Nigerian and your kids are Nigerian. So it's not like you are going to do this and you get taken back to Cameroon and we'll never see you again. So please, sister, come out and do what is right. I know for people like you that are powerful and mighty with lots of money and connection, it is difficult for people to tell you the truth. But most of the time, you have to rely on your own inner conscience to be able to do the right thing. Because even when you are doing the wrong thing, a lot of people are ready to say, 
you are doing the right thing just for the to gain favor just to remain relevant in your life so but you have to sit down and know that there is a place called god and that is why no matter how rich and powerful you are you should always live with that knowing that you hold god you hold god everything you hold god goodness you hold god to be good because if you choose not to especially like in my country nigeria if you choose not to be to obey the law it's fine nobody gonna do you nothing as long as you have the money and connections nobody will do you anything they they press want to talk you bright them everybody is just going to take from you and just clap for you so but now as it stands you have to work with your god-given conscience by granting this woman a DNA test. Grant her the DNA test. Ma, Mercy Johnson Okoje, please grant this Cameroonian woman, this aged woman, prove her wrong, disgrace her, spoil my business. Yeah, my business is talking, 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 especially talking, talking like this. Spoil my business by granting this woman her request. A DNA test to prove that she is either your mother or not. Once the DNA test is done, she's going to leave you. Once the DNA test is done, another woman from Naja Republic or Kenya will not come tomorrow to start saying you are theirs. Maybe you didn't know these things. Nobody is blaming you because maybe your parent may have showered you with a lot of love. You know, your I wouldn't say foster or I'll just say your late parents, your Nigerian parents may have showered you with lots of love that left you to not have any question about regarding your life, regarding your maternity or paternity to get it. So please look inside of that goodness of your heart and grant this, you know, this old aged, not rich Cameroonian woman that request so that she can go and leave us alone grant if you don't have anything to hide what is hard what is there that you cannot do what is there what is the any test i don't think is is painful if you can do covid 19 test or you can do yes if you can do covid 19 test what is the any test that you cannot do i don't think it's painful this one they say you just need your saliva and some trance of your hair and you are good to go you get this done and it's not even gonna spill any blood from your veins you're just gonna get this done and put this behind you it may look like it's not affecting you now it's definitely gonna affect it may affect your kids in their school because the way you're raising your own kids may not be the same way your kids class classmates are raised some of these families allow their kids access to the internet, access to news, access to a lot of things because they are busy with work. They don't have time to monitor the information their children consumes. And then when their kids consume this information, maybe via this video, via another, via a post on Instagram or Facebook, something, something, or read something on a blog post, they will, the following day they will, um, call your kids out. They, After all, your grandmother is from Cameroon and she's poor. You know, they will just say things to your child that you won't like. Okay? I know it's easy to go back to that school, uh, maybe withdraw your kids, but where you are taking them to, what about them? Do it for them. Do it for humanity. Because this woman's story, I'm not buying it. It's not like I 100% believe the woman is very hard for me as a matter of fact. I'm struggling to believe. I'm struggling to believe right now. Why, why it was difficult to believe the Ghanaian woman's story is because of how she described, how she said her Messi's late father was her ex-husband. So you kind of wonder when and when, you know, did all this happen and how it fits in. But this Cameroonian one is it's just something else. The resemblance is there, yes. You can look like anybody. Anybody can look like anybody without being blood related. I have had to deal with people calling me, oh, Angela. And then I'll, I'll stop and wait for that person to come through and tell me what. 
by the time the person walks close to me, you'll be like, oh, wow, sorry. You're not the one I'm, I thought he's, wow, you look alike. You look like Angela, my friend, or Angela, my cousin, Angela, my this. To get it. It's, it doesn't mean I'm related to these people by blood. To get it. But in your own case, you look like her, and then she comes to say you are her family, you are her child. All you need to do to get all these people off your back, go to the press. Mercy, give us a live stream. I beg, give us a tiny post. Just write these simple words. Caption it like this. Yeah, I heard that some old people are after me, that I'm their child. Disregard that. I don't know what they are talking about. I don't know these people. And some of us will learn to mind our business. Okay, so please come out and do the needful. All of us cannot be like every other person that will be comfortable looking at the poor cries uh, because the person they are calling out is rich and mighty in the society. You are not that kind of person. The Mercy Johnson I have been watching in movies is a very humble person with lots of you know, giving good giving spirits in her body. She is a nice person. I beg you, Sister Mercy, come out and address us. Come out and deny it. Or come out and do the DNA test. But you have to do one. You can't just disrespect your fans like that by keeping silent. Uh, what are you guys going to do? Truly, there's nothing we are going to do. Apart from the fact that we will continue to talk. For me, I'm ready. Every other time, I will talk about this until you do it. It doesn't move you. It doesn't affect your bank account. Yes, I know. But I will continue to prick your conscience. I will continue to prick the conscience of those people around you that can talk to you, that could talk to you but wouldn't do it because who are they speaking for? A poor, helpless woman. What is she going to give them in return? Nothing. Coupled with the fact that she's not even a Nigerian. You see this tribalism thing that some of us that lives outside of our own countries do experience and complain bitterly. In our country, we do it. We be the master. Oh, you see this? Eh? Before someone from the East will ask, tell you anything, they will ask you first, Ibo ni Ibo. Once you are not, what you learn here? And then you bad person too. Ah, omo iluboni. To bad you are sokpo mo ogo jani miyo. You all don't finish. Especially say you know use your battle can use English. You are on your own. Hey, nyamiri. Nobody wanna look your face. For those of us from the minority tribes in Nigeria, we can't sit here and deny that. We know they do tribalism. Hmm? We know they we they do and we, 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 we. So me when they do me here for Ghana, you know they they strange for me because I don't they feel I'm from home. Like I've been going through it almost all my life. You yeah, are coming from a country like us. Before people will stand up and speak for you, you have to come from their part of Nigeria. Then talk less of someone from outside of Nigeria. No doubt, Nigerians are very friendly, very hospitable, very welcoming, very open-minded. But you see that travel isn't something with a drum. So I am calling on all of you Nigerians, Igbo, Aousa, Yoruba, I won't call the um, um, minority tribes. I mean, we, are, we have been holding it together. We have been trying. You see, with the Southerners in Nigeria, we have been trying. We have been trying. We have been keeping it going. Our hearts are open and very ready to embrace other tribes. I don't know why that is. Maybe because we are not many, many. You know, we just feel, 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 you know, the South. So we don't really... When you say open-minded person like this, say this person free, finish, apart from just a few people from the major tribes in Nigeria, when you say open-minded person, that person is free, check, ask, they are southern. I'm not saying that because I'm from there. So when it comes to tribalism, we do this thing a lot. So please put tribalism aside and let us come together and help beg mercy to help this woman so that she can go back to Cameroon, age there gracefully, and return to her ancestors without having to swell up on that day because there are a lot of unanswered questions. I am a young mother. 
God forbid I have to go through this in future. God forbid. Okay, but nobody is above <laughs> these kind of things. Back in the days, there was no... Okay, let's say for now, it may be difficult for some of us to go through that. But you can never completely say never. Yeah, I know. Those days, internet were not there available, especially in Africa. Telephones were not there for the regular people. So it was difficult to communicate. These days, you can assess all these things. But if life wants to do you, my dear... You see, life, if life wants to do you, life will do you in a way that you will wonder, wow, there are telephones, but I cannot access it. There are med social media, there's a, there are social media platforms, but I cannot access it. Life can do you. You see, life, life can do you. So please beg mercy, okay? Let us beg mercy, Johnson, to please answer this woman answer this mama okay answer mama prove her prove her wrong already there are a lot of questions to be asked about your growing up this maybe we may have to do that in another video let's do that in another video tune in here until mercy responds the videos will be coming they'll be coming i get the views or not they will be coming until she responds until the woman comes out to say oh uh, you guys should forget about it too. From time to time, I'll be doing this. On here, I usually travel within Ghana. But, man, life, they happen. I have not been able to travel for some time. Yeah, because it costs a lot to do so. So, as long as I'm here, I will be talking about Even if I travel, well, if I'm able to travel again to go and explore around Ghana. I will still from time to time talk about this until something is done. So please help this Cameroonian woman. Alright? So if you want to see my thought in another video, tune in in another one and uh, catch up with something that made me catch up with that one for better understanding. Alright, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!